Well, when I talk about the building, I like to think that it is an entirely new type of academic building. In fact, it's a new prototype in general in academia, not only for Bryant, but if we think about the larger context of higher education. There are a couple of very distinctive features about this building. First, it doesn't have any permanent faculty offices in the building. Now, you might think, that seems very counterintuitive because of the close kinship of students and faculty. Well, there's nothing about the building that's meant to discourage that type of interaction between faculty and students. But what the building is intending to do is to create an entirely new realm for interaction. In fact, the driver for the building was how do we actually create an environment whose primary genesis is the idea of intellectual collaboration. And so by taking that as the starting point for the design, we began to craft ideas, types of spaces, the way the spaces are arranged, the way that light comes into the space, that really encourage that sense of connection and discourse. And that's what really distinguishes it from the outset.